Hi, it's Olivia, and if you know me, you know I like art, and one of my favorite canvases to use is a book, whether that's using gel pens to draw on the front, or painting on it, or painting on the inside of it, or spray painting the edges. I feel like that's been something that's really popular the past few years, which, by the way, reminds me, if you have not seen John from JPC 13 Reads, he did a spray edges of It by Stephen King, and it's insanely good. I, it's incredible. You have to check it out. But anyway, this video isn't for that. I wanted to branch out a little bit and use the books for something other than strictly like drawing on it um, and do some other crafts. And people are so, so, so creative with this. All you have to do is look up like recycled books or um, old book like DIYs and you could find so many on Pinterest, on the internet. Um, some of the more impressive ones that I came across was like one used for a potted plant or for like structural things. Like if you've ever been to the last bookstore in LA there's so many cool things made out of books so for this video I'm going to try out a few things that I thought I could reasonably do um, keep in mind I'm very cheap so I did go out and buy a few things but I like the bare minimum and I got the cheapest stuff that I could find I told myself I would not spend more than like 20 to 30 bucks and even that was like I didn't I, if I ideally I wouldn't have to buy anything so for this first craft I'm going to need obviously a book and then I have this clock set this is the cheapest one that I could find from Michaels it was like 10 bucks I'm nice and cheap <laughs> and also this electric screwdriver or drill honestly you know what I don't know the difference <laughs> the reason why I have two copies of the same book Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is because I just bought this one it was only about five bucks from the used bookstore um, I thought that this one wasn't in a good enough condition to do this for, but actually, this is my own copy. I think I'm going to use it anyway, and so that way if it comes out all jacked up, I still have this nice copy. Also, I forgot to mention, if you are not into, like, damaging or harming or doing anything to your books at all, this video probably isn't for you. So I'm just going to open this. Okay, first I need to put a battery in here. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to drill a hole right here. I've seen a lot of tutorials at, like say that you should cut out these pages so this has something to, you know, sit in, but I honestly don't feel like doing that. <laughs> I did all of that and it looks like this the second hand is not in this kit so that is what I get for being cheap but also I mean what the heck so I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get that but until then I feel like putting these numbers on because they look cool Well, I tried. I will make a trip to the store to get that piece. And also these letters or these numbers were giving me such a hard time. I ripped one of the twos and they're not all that sticky. So that's why I only did the quarter marks. So I got that other piece that I was missing. And honestly, I really like how it looks overall. And it looks really neat with that actually moving, being an actual clock. I didn't add the rest of the numbers because I didn't feel like it. Um, uh, I did, obviously, like I said, I didn't cut out the back, so this doesn't close. If you um, do this, you know, you're going to have to leave it kind of like this, but I think it actually looked nice as a bookend, maybe, or on the top of a bookshelf. And I'm sure if you've read these books, you can see why I chose The Prisoner of Azkaban to get the clock. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty neat. So for the second craft, the things I need, obviously... A book. Um, I got the cheapest frame that I could find at Michael's. Hopefully it doesn't do me dirty like that clock set. And a printer. And by extension, you know, a computer. So basically this is, um, I've seen it where you have like a book page and you just print an image on it. That's all it is. Again, if you are not comfortable with doing things to books, then this probably isn't for you because I think I'm going to rip out a page from this and try printing straight on it. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could find like a literal image of a page and just print that out on plain white paper, but I'm trying to be fun here. So this is the page I'm going to rip out. Again, if that bothers you, please don't look. Ta-da! 
Ta-da! I actually am going to use this drawing that I that I did on the back of Crooked Kingdom. I'm going to take a picture of it right now because our scanner, I can't get it to work. I'm going to take a picture of it and I'm going to do something in Photoshop, see if I can get it to look how I want. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is make it so the red will basically be like transparent, like the only thing will be the black ink. See, that works, except it's, you know, patchy, and even then, all the color is not gone. That doesn't do anything. But I actually don't mind it not being completely there. You know, I'm only, this isn't anything serious. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I can work on the margins. That's actually I could probably cut that if I wanted to. Actually, if I like if I plan for that, I don't think that looks bad. Sorry for the yellow lighting of my room, but here's that frame and I I look like a real fool trying to figure this out for a solid 5 minutes, but realize you just pull off the sides. I've never had a frame that worked like that. So, ah, Ooh, almost dropped the camera. Um, so I'm just going to take this off. And the, the picture goes in between the two pieces of glass. Oops. Okay. So that's how it came out. So I did decide to try out printing a picture. This is my nephew, Travi. He's not that small anymore. It's very sad. But anyway, I... Edited the photo to, let's see, what did I do? I got it to look like that, and then I printed it out on another sheet of paper. I'm not gonna bother framing this, I don't have another frame, but this is kind of uh, what I was going for. This is still on the page of the Edgar Allan Poe book, but I think if this were like a Winnie the, po Winnie the Pooh <laughs> sheet or some other like nursery rhyme or fairy tale, um, page. I think that really suit it for having a little baby on it. And the last thing that I'm trying to make is the folded book pages. I'm going to try a very simple heart. I have looked into this and these are actually kind of complicated. I'm going to follow the instructions on this website which I'll link in the description. But basically I have to mark every single page by the centimeter and then go back and fold it at that point. Um, and so, you know, people do the math for this. They work it in with Photoshop to get the stencils. It's, it's a lot of work to figure this out, but this one's available for free, so I'm gonna try it out. I got this very random book. I have no idea who this author is or anything about this book. I got it for, I think, two bucks at the used bookstore. And I, um, I believe this is gonna take 40 pages. So from the center, I did 20 pages to the left and 20 pages to the right. This is the middle, so I'm just gonna get started. So I think I marked it all. I look, I had an X. I still need to do one more page at the end that I didn't account for, so I might have messed up. But you know, I'm just gonna go with it. And I believe I'm supposed to fold right at the line of where I marked. And then I just keep doing that. So, the moment of truth. Oh, I can see the heart shape, okay. Wow, I actually did something cool. Let's see how this looks. Uh, oh, that, okay, that looks cute. That came out cute. Um, I like this. So this is how it looks. It depends on where you set it to. You know, if I open it like this, it's really wonky really small, but that actually wasn't bad and it really didn't take me that long. The tedious part is marking the lines and obviously I think it'll get more um, more difficult with the more complex um, design you decide to do, but that's pretty neat. So this is the final product of the three crafts. The clock is still going strong with the wrong time, but that's okay. Um, the heart looks pretty cute. I think that, you know, if you do this, 
I wasn't really being exact with how I was folding. I think on the website it said to fold at um, fold as best as you can to a 90 degree angle and I wasn't paying attention to that at all so that's why like it's really uneven down here but there's that this looks super cute the more I look at it I, I mean I'm probably just biased because it's my nephew but I think these came out pretty neat so let me know if you're gonna try anything or if there's some other crazy book craft that you've heard of that you want to do um, this I think also I you know I have this picture my drawing but also this would look really great with some quotes um, but overall pretty happy with this and I will see you in another video. Bye!